Today we're looking at Revolt. Now, Revolt is based on a backstory of a 2012 disaster in which one brave human fights back against the robotic overlords. Now, with that out of the way, essentially it is a shooter and you're going through, it's not first person, it's a top-down shooter, and you're going um, through different kind of dark buildings, warehouses, control centers, the kind of thing you see in a lot of first-person shooter games. And you do that, you control your movements on the left with a virtual directional pad, and on the right you choose what kind of guns and ammo and that kind of thing you want to have with you. So it's definitely not the first game to look like this. The backstory is a little weak, but when you get to the actual gameplay, I have to tell you, it's it's pretty good. Now, as you move on, you have more and more weapons, and it seems complex at first. There are three different kinds of grenades to switch between, and different kinds of guns and rifles and all that, but actually it's uh, fairly simple to keep track of all that. Interesting note on the right-hand side of the screen. First, you can swipe around on the screen to change your view and then tap to go back to the original view. But all that moving around is one of the, the weak parts of the game. It's fairly easy to get lost as to where you are in the different levels. Now, you'll see uh, sort of like a little directional thing down underneath the thumb uh, there, but that's not a huge help with getting from place to place. You'll also notice from time to time, it seems like it freezes or locks up whenever there are big explosions. Now, I'm playing this on an iPhone 3GS. Not sure if that might be a little bit better on the iPhone 4. There is a setting you can change to help with performance, but I didn't find that that made a difference. As a matter of fact, that setting is optimized right now, and we still get the freezes from time to time. But anyhow, so you go through the levels. On the right-hand side, you can shoot in any direction. It can be a little tricky to get your aim correct. However, you have lots of ammo, and you get more ammo by collecting the scrap metal from the enemies that you kill. And also with that scrap metal, you can buy uh, additional weapons and so forth between, between the levels. So at first, I was a little hesitant, and it is a little frustrating the way that you don't really have a map to know where you're at within the level, so you can find yourself getting turned around if you, especially if you tend to change the view from time to time. But overall, it's well put together. Hopefully they can optimize the graphics a little bit so you don't get those freezes whenever there's a big explosion. But otherwise, it's a fairly good shooter. It's called Revolt for the iPhone and iPod Touch. For the digitallifestyle.tv, I'm Ryan Ritchie.